If you come to Brick Lane, you got to get bagels. A lot of bagels there. Hello. <laughs> Do I get your photograph? You can do it. Are they uh, all bagels? That's right. Thank you. What's your name? Sammy David Jr. <laughs> Can I have three salmon and cream trees? Actually, can I have four? No, well, it's my job, isn't it? Is it? What do you do? I spy on shop, shop workers in bagel shops. What channel do you do? It's like street photography on YouTube. Oh, that sounds cool. It's all right. Right, so I'm working out today. I'm at Cafe 1001, which is in Brick Lane. It's a pretty cool place to work. By the way, you've got to bear with the audio here. So I'm recording this on the fly. The only thing is, though, when you're working out, there's, like, other people out, aren't there? I know, I know. But it's, like, his age. The older I get, it's kind of like, when I'm out, it's almost like part of me feels, do they have to be out as well? Do you know what I mean? Also, I'll get distracted easy. Anything will distract me. If there's something to fiddle with, then I'll, I'll, I'm there, I'm fiddling. Sounds a bit rude, that. Why is there a broom handle on the wall? With two of them, with two broom handles. I like the street art around here. I'll stop off on the way to shoot a little bit of it. A lot of graffiti is horrible, I mean, it's cliche. If you look beyond the obvious, you can find some real gems. I mean, Brick Lane has a lot of really juicy street art, like statement stuff. I find it relaxing shooting street art. Shooting people can be anything but relaxing. Especially if, like I said, it's like, it's actually artistic and it's done with intention and purpose. There's a point to it. It's like a meditation then, slowing, slowing down and taking the time to feel out what the artist is trying to say. Some purist street photographers will say that if there's no people in the image, it's not street photography. Who cares what they think? I've taken this shot of Amy before, but I like it. So here's today's clip. 